into the deep end Cause I thought I could swim We break up every weekend I, 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 Was it gonna be like that? Oh, I just wanted you so bad Playing with my mind, was that your intention? Cause I'm missing Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Rashida and I'm a stay at home work from home mom of four beautiful children. We have Giselle, Malachi, Nasir, and Naomi. And here on this channel, we like to provide you with all types of motivation. We have cleaning motivation, laundry motivation, mommy motivation, just realistic motivation to help you get you through your day, week, month, and year. So if that is something that you're interested in, please consider joining our family. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button and make sure your notifications are on so you will not miss an upload. For today's motivation, I am going to be giving you some all day cleaning motivation. There's a couple of rooms in my house that just need my attention at the moment. And one of them includes my bedroom, which we're going to tackle first. And I do this for a reason. But on top of doing my bedroom, I need to also do my closet and my bathroom. And then we're going to work our way to the rest of the areas that some require some attention. I dove into the deep end Cause I thought I could swim We break up every weekend I, 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 Was it gonna be like that? Oh, I just wanted you so bad Playing with my mind was that your intention? Cause I'm missing you Now, the reason that I do my bedroom first is because I know for a fact that if I did not start in here and I just started in the other rooms that need my attention, my bedroom would not get done. So I tend to do the most important rooms or what I consider to be the most important rooms first, such as maybe the kids rooms or especially the kitchen. I find like those rooms are very important to me and I just want them to stay kind of sort of tidy all throughout the day but i have found that the rooms that still require the same amount of attention that i don't consider as important they get pushed to the back of the list and honestly they don't get done <laughs> so all that being said if i didn't do my room first i know that i would just keep putting it off and keep putting it off into of uh, the points where i just can't take it anymore so i find that doing the rooms that maybe don't take as much time but i kind of dread doing i just go ahead and knock those out first because i know at the end of the day that important rooms like the kitchen are going to get done regardless of how much energy i have so i go ahead and put those at the end of the list it just makes it more productive i promise it is it is a method to the madness and side note did y'all see me struggling with this duvet I struggle every single time I have to take this thing apart to wash it and then I have to put it back together. But I absolutely love this duvet cover and I just gonna have to suffer and deal with it. Let me know in the comments down below. Are you team comforter or are you team duvet? next up we are making our way into my closet now my closet was getting to a point where i could barely walk without stepping on stuff i had a pile of clothes that i needed to put up from laundry of course if you guys 
if you know you know i'm bad at putting away laundry like we have tons of clean laundry i don't have an issue with um cleaning like washing and drying but as far as like putting them up yeah i struggle a little bit in that area so there was a pile of clean clothes that i needed to put away i also had just a bunch of random stuff that just was in here um my closet has started to become like a catch-all area in my room so if i want to like put things in there like clutter and I can just close the door and you know we'll figure the rest out later but today we're going to open the door and actually tackle that mess so beside the clothes I also had like drinks and stuff in there that I needed to put away I keep certain drinks in my closet that I do not want my kids getting into I mean they are non-alcoholic and I do have um um, like wine and stuff that's in my wine bar that's downstairs but certain drinks like I have my probiotic drinks I have my um, my electrolyte water I also have certain things like uh, my coconut water so just stuff that I don't want the kids getting into because I know that if I have it downstairs in the common area it's gonna be gone and nobody gonna know what happened to it so certain things that I just want for myself I have to actually keep in my room next up we're going to be wiping down my bathroom now my bathroom wasn't too bad honestly so we're just going to be reorganizing and i just want to make sure i wipe everything down including the mirror the countertops uh, we're going to scrub the toilet and the tub and then we're just going to give it a good mopping like i said my bathroom was not a mess this time <laughs> Since we are cleaning the toilet, I want to know you guys' opinion. Do you use a regular scrub brush or do you use one of those disposable brushes? Because honestly, I've been seeing them a lot more. I mean, they always been out, but I've just been seeing them. It catches my eye a lot more. And I'm wondering if I should make the transition. I kind of feel like it's a waste because you can't reuse it. You have to throw it away, uh, the, the end of it but they just seem a little bit more hygienic so let me know in the comments down below do you use a reusable brush or a disposable brush <laughs> I thought I could 
swim We break up every weekend I, 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 I. Why's it gotta be like that? last room we're going to tackle today is the kitchen of course over the weekend the kitchen gets a little bit more messy than usual and that's just because i'm constantly in here cooking and the kids are constantly eating so we're going to go ahead and tackle that for right now <laughs> Yeah, I try to be cute and make a heart for y'all. It did not work. Well, I'm going to blame it on the can. I think my can is defective because sometimes it'll spray out and it'll have the foam, the whiteness, and then other times it'll just be clear. So, yeah, that's what we're going to blame it on. But I tried to give you guys a heart. <laughs> Yeah, I see Malachi in the kitchen again. I swear this boy is eating like every 10 minutes. As I cleaned the kitchen, it might have took me maybe 25, 30 minutes to clean the kitchen. He didn't eat two full meals. I'm not talking about snacks, y'all. This boy must be going through a growth spurt because the way he eating lately is crazy. When they become teenagers, I'm basically just going to have to get a second and third job just to afford groceries because the way they eat now and they're not even teenagers yet. He's only seven. It's just crazy. <laughs> Y'all, we just mentioned Malachi, and here come the other one in the seer. And then he's gonna have the nerve to lick his plate. Like, boy, if you want some more, just say you want some more, okay? We don't need to lick the scraps off the plate. I swear, these kids. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm giving y'all some of real life cleaning at the moment. So right now, my dishwasher is pretty full and it was from the dishes from you know earlier today so it's pretty full so right now because i still have a sink full of dishes i'm just going to be squeezing every little thing that i can inside of the dishwasher and it's mostly going to be a lot of the small stuff and i'm gonna leave like the big pans and stuff now if it's only a few big pans i'll go ahead and wash it but if i still have a sink full of dishes after i filled the dishwasher oh baby we not um, washing no dishes we're gonna wait to the next cycle so that is exactly what i'm doing here ain't no shame in my game like i said i am giving you realistic cleaning here so we're gonna go ahead and fill this up and there's still gonna be dishes in the sink so fair warning because those dishes are gonna be for the next round of the dishwasher 
And like I mentioned earlier, my kids are eating all the time. So on when the days that they don't have school or over the weekend, I'm constantly in the kitchen cooking. I'm not one of those parents that's like, no, you can't eat. You got to wait until lunchtime. No, if you're hungry, then I'm going to make you something to eat or you can make yourself a sandwich or whatever. So especially during the weekends, I'm constantly in here using a whole bunch of dishes and they're constantly eating. So that's how the sink and the dishwasher washer can just get super full super fast Cause I thought I could swim We break up every weekend uh, 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 uh. Was it gonna be like that? Oh, I just wanted you so bad Playing with my mind Was that your intention? Cause I'm missing you I'm just gonna be taking the same rag that I've been using to clean the countertops and I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down the appliances because they were a little grimy. Now, normally when I'm doing more of a, a deeper clean, I'll go ahead and get the stainless steel um, spray and do it with a micro cloth, fi uh, microfiber cloth. But today was not one of those days and as long as it's clean, I'm good. We'll worry about the aesthetics of it later. I have been doing a little bit of research on that device or that machine that sweeps and mops at the same time. If you have one, let me know down in the comments how well you like it because I'm seriously considering it. It would save me so much time at the end of the night. So that is pretty much it for today's video. I hope you got tons of motivation to go ahead and tackle something off your to-do list. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up so I know what kind of videos to keep recreating. As always, I really appreciate you guys for watching and I will see you in my next one. Oh, oh, oh.